Metter Park, the house that Mark Stratton built, and the former Panthers baseball coach in the house on a Saturday afternoon for Mark Stratton Day at the field. Coach Stratton catching up with some old friends. He throws out the ceremonial first pitch to his grandson, Cameron. What he didn't know is that his number 40 jersey was being retired out in center field, the first number retired in the park's history. You see his reaction. Don't you love sports? Tears of joy for Stratton. He talked about the moment just before first pitch. Look back and cherish our time. One, two, D, you ready? One, two, D. I had no clue that was happening. I thought I was going to throw a pitch. My biggest fear was bouncing it to Cam without a mask on. So, uh, you know, I, I'm stunned, actually, to be truthful. <laughs> Normally, I, I'm not at a loss for words, but I am now. There was a game played today. The Quincy Hawks are in town. First of a four-game set. Kevin Sweeney on the hill for DU. And a jam early after an error at second to start the game. And Mark Merrill cashes in. The single pass first scores two. Both unearned, but the Hawks on the scoreboard early. The error costly for Drury. Merrick homers in the fourth to make it 3-0. Back up in the fifth looking for more damage. And Caleb Cole says no! Look at the hops on the senior from Lee Summit. That is a Web Gym nominee. Look at it again. Cole gets up. That is nice. Bottom of the six now, Cole on first. Luke Tavis at the plate. He yokes it to right center. Cole's got a motor. He comes all the way home from first. Tavis in at second. He steals third, and that makes it easy for Peyton Reed with one out. Reed's grounder makes it three to two. Bottom of the seventh now, one out. They walk Cole to load him up for Tavis, and Cole Crawford walks in a run. So the Hawks bring in side armor Matt Norton. 3-2 pitch, and Norton walks in a run. Gurry takes a 4-3 lead. All they had to do was stand there. And Quincy coach Josh Rabe, give me the ball, don't even look at me. Not a happy man. Meanwhile, base is still loaded. That should be the ending, but Kenny May trips over the base. Just one of those days, man. RBI single for Emilio Villanueva. But Panthers get a few gifts. They lead 5-3 after 7. Nick Timmich puts the stamp on this one. Panthers take game one on Mark Stratton Day. 6-3. Dury improves to 11-7 on the season. Yeah, we'll take it any way we can get it. You know, we uh, first five, six innings, we didn't string anything together. Uh, and then we had uh, two back-to-back -back hits, or at least two guys on in a row with Caleb and Tavis. So that's uh, that's really the name of the game. You got a guys, you got a guys have on, and a uh, uh, handful of guys getting doubles and stealing bases. But if you only do that with two outs, it's tough to score.